for removing the controller and swapping it to a new one. Uh, first thing we're going to take out is this. This is a 4mm Allen key. I've already got it mostly unthreaded, but this will go. This will be all the way in at the bottom generally. Oh, just so you can see, it's one large washer and a lock nut, a lock washer, then this. Then we're going to take a 3mm. We're going to take these three out. This will hold the charging port where the controller is behind it. So then we'll pull out the charging port. We'll see a couple of cables. Now I'll have you bring the camera over here. Let's we'll see this little connector. Just want to pull that out. It'll separate pretty easily. And then hang it over the edge of the frame. Make sure it's hanging past the frame. However, you've got this probably upside down on the handlebars. Um, don't want it to scratch because this is uh, plastic, but this is metal. Then take a quick look in there. We're going to pull out the controller past these cables on the side. Oh, sorry. Bring it up here for a sec. Mm -hmm. There's going to be this cable running down here and these two are going to be probably running through here these are i believe the rear headlights and this is for the motor they're zip tied here 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 you'll want to clip those and uh, release them so that they can be pulled through just these three this one leave attached although your new controller that we're going to send you will already have this attached the correct one because there's two of these um, all right so back down to here we'll pull it out I have to wedge it up a bit before it's free enough. This is in there pretty good. Okay. So you'll see this feeds out and this pulls out. And once you have the controller out, you'll see that there are there's this connection and this connection. You can just take this whole part out. We'll disconnect that. Yeah. Yes, I'll be going this from here. Okay. And then there is your old controller, including the old uh, polarity for the lights. So then we're going to take the new one. Uh, it'll be mostly preset, kind of pre-folded. I'll put a bit of tape here. Um, but you'll want the channel on the bottom, and it's going to face up this way. So you'll take these two, the ones hanging by themselves, and I wrap them around like this. And then pull on them a little bit just to make them hold their shape. This is so that the cables are kind of nice and tight up at the top. I'm going to take this long one with this zip tied to it here which is the rear, uh, rear headlights again, motor cable. And just push all the cables and cords up inside to the left so that there's space for it to go past. We're gonna feed it through until we see it poke out the top. And pull it through. Uh, if you have the motor on the, the controller on the side, it'll hit this. So you'll wanna push the cables to the side, but then feed it into the middle but before you do that you want to make sure that you can reach these so holding this and this you don't want this to go under the controller you want it to go to the side so we'll connect it to this the original connector oh and these will have a little line on it to indicate where to match these up so a little line there Little line on that one might be a bit hard to see and then we'll connect this one underneath as i showed before with the controller outside connect these two there's only going to be these two or three connections they're all different so you can't accidentally plug it into the wrong thing so now that that's in there this i'm going to change position 
So the hand on the left side, you're gonna grab these two that we connected. You're gonna kinda wanna keep them pulled up and out so that they don't go under the controller, but that you can kinda push the cables that are up there to the side. This can be a little tricky. Side. So you can see the cables are on the left side. Controller is maybe two knuckles deep, I suppose. So you have a bit of space here for the charger port to go back into. So that looks okay. It can, it'll move around a little bit in here. This uh, bolt that goes in the top stops it from moving around too much. So next part. We're gonna take this, the charging port, and that little yellow connector that you can kind of see in there does not have to be under the bottom but that's where it's supposed to be just makes it a little neat nicer neater looking i'm gonna grab like a little pick whatever you can find as a little hook or curve to it i'm gonna grab this and a hook into the middle of it like this on the, the one that's on the inside so that you can pull it towards you because you want the controller to stay but the cable to pull towards you only goes on one way so don't have to worry about it being reverse polarity so that's connected i'm going to take these cables and kind of want the charging port to hold these back so that they don't get in the way of the battery any way you'd like to do it some people zip tie them up all nice and fancy these will just stick behind the charging port anyway, so it's up to you. Just grab my three millimeter again. We'll adjust these once they're in. And just lightly tighten the first one so you can get all three in before you really tighten them. Make sure that when this is in, there's no cord going over before you tighten this down, you can pinch a cable, destroy it. Um, almost never happens, but you'll feel it. You won't want to tighten. cables and cords on the sides. You want to push them in so you get just out of the way. You can kind of squeeze them behind the charger. Don't push too hard on anything because you can break the pins off. Just like lightly pushing them back. And then the last part will be this at the top. This will not go all the way and hit the controller. So if you get resistance, the controller may not be either all the way in or pushed all the way down. It should go all the way down pretty easily. And just artfully tight. And then you'll have this again hanging out. You'll want to reconnect these two, the yellow and the red, to the appropriate colors. Uh, again, they'll be probably be hanging around here. And then zip tie these again back to here, back to your motor mount. And that is it.